So the problem I've got with um, a little bit of uh, the display in my car is that the numbers are difficult to read. Um, the dash is quite low um, because it's a van, your driving position is quite high. So the dash is quite low and where you're sitting and looking out the window, um, it's obviously much higher than the dash. So you have to keep looking down. I've got dodgy eyesight anyway, so I've actually got um, very focal lenses in, which means that in order to see the dash clearly enough, I have to kind of like tilt my head to see the bottom bit. And when I'm doing this driving down the road, it's not great. And I particularly don't like it if you're kind of driving abroad and you need to then do the conversion into kilometers because those numbers are even smaller. I had been using the, uh, the next base dash cam has a GPS as a screen saver but it started messing up like big stuff. They started to say I was doing five, 600 miles an hour when my speedo said I was doing 20 or something. So I figured I can't rely on that. Um, and it's GPS, it's quite slow to pick up to your speed and things like that. So I've got this heads up display unit uh, which plugs into the onboard diagnostics port of the uh, the van which fortunately is really close to where I'd want um, the heads up display to actually kind of uh, show the information on the screen. So the heads up display unit basically with the little cable supplied uh, and a connector for the onboard diagnostics port you plug it in and um, you then position the heads up display on the dash and from that you just kind of like you know tweak it a little bit so that you get um, the display where you want it um, you don't actually see the display itself uh, it's got a bit of a shroud around it so you never see anything emitting from that even at night um, you just see the reflection in the windscreen that's all lined up and it all looks fantastic um, it has loads of different features I think there's like 12 13 different options it's all explained in the user manual as well um, and once you've got it powered up, um, there's a button at the bottom uh, which allows you kind of to change those options. So uh, a couple of seconds press in, that goes into the options. You then select the number of the option you want. Um, and then from that, you use the, um, the little jog wheel to actually change things. So for example, I noticed that it was uh, the heads up display unit was um, telling me I was going slower than I actually was by about one or two miles an hour. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're doing 30 in a 30 zone, what you don't actually want to be doing is 32 in a 30 zone. So what I've actually done, I think that was option one. You go into option one and then you increase the variable. Um, and what I did basically was um, I had it in my hand while Mandy was driving. We went down the road and she told me, yep, the speedo says 30. Um, and I got the heads up display to actually read 31. So I know, worst case scenario, if that says 31, because it's easier to read, if that says 31, then I won't be doing um, 31. I should be doing under 30. So by giving myself that kind of margin, I should never be caught for speeding. That's my idea. Uh, plus it's a safety thing and everything like that. But the main thing for me is you don't have to keep looking down at the dash anymore. You can just look straight ahead. Um, it's got an auto dimming function on there, so which is really good. If you do you know, drive around a lot at night time, it does dim quite low so you can still see it and you don't get loads of glare. And even in direct sunlight during the day with the sun beaming down on you, you can still see the reflection in the windscreen. So for me, that works fantastic as well. Um, it's certainly something that has made it much easier for driving, um, certainly for me anyway. Um, you can change the display so you can have things like your rev counter on there. Um, you can monitor the, uh, the voltage from the van. Um, so all that information comes through. And as I said about the numbers being hard to read, say for example if you drive abroad and you're looking at kilometres an hour, you can actually change it from miles an hour to kilometres an hour um, and therefore you've got an instant heads up display, you know, we go abroad, just click the switch, boom, 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 and the settings changed, you are seeing the heads up display in kilometers an hour, which makes again, everything much easier. But for me, heads up display, much easier to use than I anticipated, 
you know essentially you click it in the onboard diagnostics port you connect the cable you position it and then it's pretty much ready to go yes i've needed to adjust it slightly for the speedo but i mean that could just be my van that could just be you know it could be perfect on everyone else's but for me i think it's great especially for the price i think the price of it is just amazing for for what it does and the safety side of things so yeah uh, that's my little uh, tech review kind of camper van related i know but that's that's my life now so um this is the kind of stuff i can guess um is going to be ongoing from this point on so hope you liked it and um, i'll catch you in the next video and don't forget if you are interested in camper vans and travel check over on the other channel see if you're interested in any of the videos over there take care now bye